Masters of the Universe. Who we got today? Rock on! Now uh, let's be honest, we've had them for a little while, but uh, this this is the Mattel Creations exclusive Masters of the Universe Origins Rock on, and uh, he was a favorite of mine growing up. Really excited to get him. Uh, he can transform into a rock. Probably the best kind of transformation you can do, right? Because uh, when you can rock, you can roll. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is for six and up. I think it was about six when I got my first rock on. It was one of those awesome situations where my very cool parents um, had me in a toy store and, and pretty sure we were out in California, maybe San Francisco if I'm not, uh, not mistaken. And we were in a toy store in like a mall, I think. And I saw Rock On and Stonedar, who I actually prefer. I think I like Stonedar better for some reason. Although I love the colors on this guy. They really pop. Origins always elevates those classic colors to the nth degree. And, uh, oh, I see, uh, I see Panther wandering around in the background there. Hi, Panther. Um, Cringer's hanging out in the guest room. There's Panther. Hi, Panther. How are you? Um, yeah. Guest bedroom. <laughs> Slash toy room. It's, it's multi-purpose now. Uh, although actually I was feeling under the weather the past few days. I think I'm getting over a flu or something. So, um, it's my camp out. Uh, but I felt well enough to crack this guy open. Hopefully that'll get me well enough to go back to work for one day before Easter. Um, Anyway, Rock On Here and Stonedar were hanging on the pegs in that San Francisco toy store. And, and Mom, of course, in true mom fashion said, we'll just get both. And so I went home with those. I think I also got my my first and only pound puppy, who I believe the name was Doozer? Dozer? I think I named it Dozer. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think I named that pound puppy after Mr. T's dog on the Mr. T cartoon or whatever was going on back then. Anyway, uh, let's get this guy open. He is in some excellent <gasps> collector-friendly package. Oh, thank you, Mattel. We do enjoy that. And it does come with an excellent, although I haven't really seen it, excellent mini comic. Um, I guess I have seen it online a little bit. Uh, I do dig the fact that we're still getting mini comics. I'm not always the biggest fan of the writing style. I'm not gonna really read it to you or anything but feel free to pause it i do i do kind of dig the art this is the same artist i believe as was in the uh eternia playsets mini comic which we do plan on giving you a better look at yes the eternia playset that we do have set up here the table's kind of cattywampus in here because the neighbor kids come down and play with it they can insist on putting water in the mouth which honestly i'm okay it's fine i want them to enjoy it it's for kids kids too guys don't be gatekeepers anyway uh there's the comic and here is rock on Ooh. oops just knocked my uh gargoyle off that was the last sticker we applied hermione put that right there i love the purple the, the placement of it it's very natural uh, but anyway, here we go with Rock On. Uh, he is a little bit smaller than some of the other Masters figures. And uh, that's interesting. I don't know if you can see that in there. There's some like white residue on him that doesn't usually happen until a figure is old. Anybody else see that on there? Are you getting white residue on any of your classics? Uh, not classics. Classics did do that a little bit. Our classics are actually in storage right now. All right, rubber bands, I always like to hang on to those. All right, now give me a second. Gotta do the important, if I can smell. I've been hard at smelling for a while here. Sniff test, I can't smell much, but I don't think it's very strong. Let's get his rubber bands off of him. <clears throat> okay, he's pretty cool. Looking at him right here, I am seeing a little bit of this kind of weird white residue, just in a couple places. One dip in the moat of uh, Eternia ought to fix that, but look at his kind of, his kind of strange placement for his feet though. That kind of looks so weird. I guess that's because of the way it would be. So I guess they go like this. He is a little short. Good articulate. I mean, the fact that they managed to keep the articulation pretty great is fantastic. And his colors do pop, 
But, um, well, let's first of all, before we do anything else, he's got, he's, I mean, he's got a lot of articulation in him. Does he still, yes, he does still come apart? Now, one thing I will say, I wish I'd thought to get my other one out. Like, look at that. That's a little, I don't really like that right there. I was going to say that overall, I'm, I'm not really fond of the fact that the ones I've seen so far, so, so far online, have had more silver than blue. Mine had a nice, kind of almost natural, I'm no geologist, so I don't know if this is natural at all, uh, float. But look at that. He's got like rock underpants. And speaking of underpants, when you do transform him, I've seen this as well. Let's go ahead and do the thing before we even getting ahead of myself here. But you're going to see that his little dupayash is going to be sticking out just as soon as... That's what I get for doing this without Hermione, because... I mean, I don't hate it. I want to love him a little more, I think, than I do, though. Booty. Just... Booty sticking out. I think the thing that bothers me more is the fact, because I haven't seen this on anyone else's, that. Keskala fudge, Mattel. I mean, like, what's going on there? Um, I'm not mad at the... Oh, you know what I do like is that this does free spin, because I think that bothered me in class. I would have liked this to be back metalized. Clearly, we can get things quite shiny here. We've done back metal in Origins before, especially, but I, I, I like that it free spins. I don't remember if it was in any of the vintage stuff as far as the comic or the packaging, but I remember my mom thinking, oh yeah, it spins around and I could blind their enemies. So I, that's kind of what I use that as. But I do know, we can come back to the transformation. I do know that he can hold it. I like that. Very good. You can pew, 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 pew. And blind your enemies, of course, right? Like mom said. But you can also, more importantly, and it's not quite this. I kind of liked that it was like a plus sign on a little. But you can also stick that in there. And, you know, I like it. And I think even the card art does, too. Look, in fact, the card art shows it still in his chest. This is fantastic artwork, too, by the way. Also, cannot wait for Modulock, Multibot, all the things. Interesting that Leech has gold on his shoulder armor there. That's more... That's that's not the way his figure looks, is it? Maybe it's orange on that. Could be wrong. Um, yeah, I'm down for the rock people. I, I think he's cool. I think I maybe... Let me set him up here. See. I, I'm going to have to mess with him to get it really good. Let's move that. Let's... let's mess just a bit. Let's adjust this so we can mess appropriately. Can you hear the dog behind us? It's basic. It's kind of basic. Let, let's, I want to see him. I want to see him fold it up again. I want to see that. Let me get him. Let me do the thing that he's supposed to do and transform him. I mean, he's supposed to, he's, he's supposed to be pretty easy to transform like this. This is nice that it's just fairly basic. These, I don't mind being silver. And I have seen some people take just, honestly, I've heard a silver Sharpie did the trick. And, uh, because he's little booty. Doesn't need to be hanging out. Like some of the idiots in my school they wear their pants sagging. Boys, you look like somebody's prison girlfriend when you sag like that. I'm sure you think you look cool. But, uh, and I, I do love my students. But, you know, when you're young, you're stupid. But in, in, in good ways. I've actually got really smart kids. I love my kids. I kind of miss my kids. Even the one who sent me an annoying and atrociously written email today. Complaining about me not being there. Sweet. You know who you are if you're watching. Which, why are you watching your English teacher on YouTube? You don't even know I'm on here. Oh. Anyway, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, not perfect. Uh, honestly, I'm usually pretty apologetic. Um, this, that's an easy fix if, I, if it bothered me. He's good enough for their transformation. Like, it actually doesn't bother me. In fact, I think it looks better on screen than it does as uh, in an in-person situation. Um, 
Hmm. Am I glad I got him? Yes. Am I blown away by him? No. And honestly, it's not so much the transformation, the booty fix that can be fixed. It's this. I don't think I've seen anybody else with this situation. I'm going to have to get on. Uh, let me know in the, in, the, in the comments. Comment below if you've got this situation. Um, I do like the way this looks. This is kind of strange to me, too. I feel like this is glued in a weird place. Like it'd be better if that was on the sides. Because in order to get his feet facing in so he doesn't have penguin feet, which, incidentally, I had penguin feet when I was little. I had to wear braces as a kid. None of my teeth. Like on my ankles. Ankle braces at night. You should feel sad for me. Send me some money for toys. Um, do I love him? Because he's a Masters of the Universe action figure, yes, he gets an automatic win. This spinning freely like that actually uh, takes care of some of the negativity. Um, how do I feel? Hermione used to do the, the scale of awesomeness and she would put what she thought was the best toy, always the classic Castle Grayskull, up against the um, the toy of the week, whatever it was we were reviewing or whatever, and, and she would always have like, at the very low end would be something ridiculous, a Cheerio or a peanut or a rock she found in the yard or something. And, and uh, I don't know, as far as high end Castle Grayskull, classics Castle Grayskull, it's too much cold medicine or whatever, I've been, I've been treating symptomatically. Um, it's in storage, still cool, still probably the high end. Um, Oh, um, I know I'm just meandering and muttering 12 minutes of this, uh, but he is a cool toy. He looks good here. I'm glad I have him. Again, let's talk about the height thing. I'm just going to grab some rando behind me. Okay, we'll just go with you. Wondar, and I do have your legs splayed a bit too. You're kind of in a nice action stand up, Wondar, uh, action pose, but look at that. That is, uh, it's not too bad. He is young, but when they do Stone Dark, who's supposed to be an adult, is Stone Dark gonna be short like that? What do you think? I don't know. How do we feel about this? I think I like him. I kind of wish his eyes weren't quite so. Nah, you know what? I take it back. I like him. Ooh, I kind of love the way that looks on his. You see that weird, bubbly almost texture behind him? It's not even a texture, it's just the way it was sprayed on. That I kind of like. Hmm. I'm undecided yet. I'm glad I have him. He's cool. I love the the rock warriors, the combat warriors, the the yeah, the rock. I always called them rock people. The rock rock on combat warrior. I love him because I have him. Am I an apologist? Am I easily pleased? Honestly, this is probably I feel like I've been more gripey than I have ever been. Is it because I don't feel good? I don't know. Anyway. Oof. Oh, jeez. Who am I knocking? Oh, I'm knocking over Cartoon Collection. Um, we got lots more to look at, to talk about, to think about, to review, to say. I'm sorry. I really need to stop. All right. Hey, everybody. Subscribe. More fun stuff. We got cool things. We got firefighters like my grandpa there's his helmet um except he wasn't a robotic elephant oh my gosh stop me i gotta i gotta i gotta take more medicine peace good journey bye